listeners. I hope you are fine and doing great. In this video, I'm going to talk about another free PLC training software. In fact, it is not a training software, but it is a programming software that is available for free. The software I'm talking about is OpenPLC. It is, in fact, a platform that allows you to program PLC in all five standard languages. Furthermore, you can download your program not into just any PLC, but also in microcontroller or a microprocessor as well. That is, you can make your microcontroller or microprocessor behave like a PLC. So in today's video, I'm just going to show you that how you can get your hands onto this software, how to install it, and how to get it running. So the very first thing you need is you need to go to autonomylogic.com. The very first page that you will see, it has three different buttons for downloading this open PLC program onto any platform. I'm going to go with Windows. So you can click on Windows. Although it is free, but you can still donate something if you want. So you can select some things over here and then contribute. However, for this video, I'm just going to press this just download button. But as soon as I'll press this download button, you can see that the downloading is starting. So you will get this thing once the downloading is complete. You can double click on it to get the installation started. The installation process is not just a simple regular installation process. It is in fact an extraction process. So you just need to click on this install button and it will start extraction. Once the extraction is complete, the program is readily usable. So as the installation is now complete, you can quickly run this program by typing in open PLC in this window search bar. So it will search for this thing, which is open PLC editor. You can right click on it and open the file location to see where it is. It is present in the user's profile folder. Anyhow, I'm just going to click on it to get it running. So this is what you'll see when you start your program for the first time. Now to start programming, you need to start a new project. It will ask you to point it towards an empty folder where it can save the files. So you can create an empty folder anywhere you want. For example, I'm going to create it over here and name it as PLC practice. After you have specified the folder, it will ask you to name your program and also select the language in which you want to program. If you drop down this list, you can see that all five languages are over here. The instruction list, structure text, letter diagrams, function block diagrams, and sequential flowcharts. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to quickly select this letter diagram and make a simple letter diagram and get it running. So this is the window where you can start your letter diagrams. On this top side, you can see the symbols that are available that can be used to draw your letter diagram. Over here, there are a range of function blocks available that can be used inside their letter diagrams. And then there are a few controls over here as well. We'll talk about these controls later. So let me start programming the letter diagram. The very first thing is I need rails. So I can click on this icon and then click somewhere over here where you can see small dots. So it is asking me whether I want a left power rail or a right power rail. So I need both. So for the first time, I'm going to go with the left one. And I am only going to have one pin because I'm going to draw only one rung. So a rail will be inserted like this. Secondly, I'm going to once again insert a rail, but this time it is going to be a power right power rail. So that's it. I can click and drag it to move and place it anywhere. The next thing I need is a contact. So I'm going to create a contact. I have clicked over here. Now I'm going to click somewhere over here. And it is giving me the option that what kind of contact I need. So I'm going to design a very simple AND gate logic over here. So I'll need two contacts and both will be normally open. But before I can place a contact over here, I need to define to what variable this contact will point to. But I haven't defined any variable. So I'm going to cancel this thing. And now I'm going to define some variables that are going to be used in my program. So for defining the variables, I'm going to use this top space. And over here, you can see a plus icon that says add variable. So I have added a variable. I can re rename it, for example, A and I can choose its class. It is going to be local because I'm not going to upload this program anywhere else. You can click on this and it will give you certain options that what kind of variable do you want to specify. I'm going to go with the Boolean variable because I'm going to implement an AND gate and the inputs can only be zero or one. That's it, I don't need to have anything else. However, if you plan to upload this program into some real PLC, then you can define the location over here as well. So that location will be the memory location or the uh, memory address to which a particular contact or a variable will point to. So currently you can leave it empty. So this is the first variable. I need another one as well. Let me name it as B and it is a Boolean variable. 
and then I need another variable that will be my output. So once again, I've named it as C and its type will be Boolean. That's it. Now I can insert these contacts. It will be a normally open contact and I'm going to assign a variable to it. I can once again drag it and place it at an appropriate position. Now I need another variable. Once again, it is an open contact and it is going to be B this time. And now I need an output coil. I have clicked over here and now when I'll click over here, it is giving me the option for output coil. So I can have a normal output coil, negated, set or reset, all these things I can have. And I'm going to assign C variable to it. That's it. I have all the elements that I need. Now I just need to connect these. So if you bring your mouse at this terminal and then click and drag, you can connect the two terminals. So I can click and drag over here, click and drag over here, click and drag over here. So that's it. This is my basic, a very basic ladder diagram that is implementing and operation between two switches. So if both switches are closed, only then the output will be energized. So now let's make it running and see what happens. So to run it, you can click on this start PLC simulation button. It will take some time to get the code compiled. So you have to wait a bit. So once the program is compiled, you will automatically see this PLC log and PLC started will be written over here. Now on this window, you can see that there are all the variables present. And to open up the debug instance, you can click on this small glasses icon. It looks like glasses and you will see that another window has opened. Now on this window, you can debug your program. That is, you can check how your program is running. If you see over here, this power rail has turned this wire green. It means that the voltage or the power is coming from this power rail till this point. Then contact A is open, so it is not going forward. So to close this contact or to change the state of this contact, I can right click on it and then click on force true. Currently it is false so i can click on force true as soon as i change its state to true you can see that now the power is coming towards b once again i can toggle this b switch as well and as soon as both of these switches become true the output becomes true and it turns green so this is how you can simply implement ladder diagram in this freely available open plc editor so dear learners i hope that you can now get your hands onto this open plc and install it and get it running. So look for my next videos where I'm going to talk about how to implement function block diagrams in OpenPLC and advanced ladder diagrams as well. I'll talk about some other languages as well in my future videos. So till then, take care and goodbye.